I just saw a massive bird go past, apart from it looked like a head. It looked like someone was standing outside my window walking past. That was terrifying. And hey everyone, today we are doing the uh, Writer's Life Me tag. Because I am enjoying doing book not book tags. I'm enjoying doing writing tags right now. And this is one that I like the look of. Question number one. What kind of writer are you? That's kind of, kind of vague. Let's try anyway. I'm a writer who is very passionate about description and character with a lot of complex team layers. I don't really enjoy sharing my writing while I'm doing first drafts and editing, but I enjoy online writing sites where I can upload chapters as I go and get feedback like that. Because I'm not good at conversational feedback, but I'm perfectly fine with typing. When did you start writing? What made you want to try it? I started, well, the, in primary school we had like, in the earlier years we had to write stories in class about themes and they're very specific and not very flexible in what we could write. Then in year two I believe, how old would I have been? I could have been like eight, maybe, maybe around eight or seven. We used to get given lists of vocab vocabulary or spellings to learn and our teacher was like to help us learn them more put like write sentences with them in for context and i ended up writing short stories with the words in and those stories i made videos before called the childhood stories videos there's a playlist of it they're all green videos and if you want to hear my first stories i suggest you go check that out number three what inspires your stories my main inspiration, I might have mentioned this before, but it's definitely music. I enjoy taking song lyrics, like metaphors from songs, and turning it into longer scenes. And especially music videos. Like the 1975 have a song called Robbers, and that video is the one that greatly inspired my story, Beauty in the Breakdown. Number four, what themes do you like to explore in your writing? I like to explore more about trust and friendship rather than romantic themes. I enjoy developing relationships between a character that don't necessarily involve love or romance. And I also like the idea of taking scenes that are realistic but ones that people wouldn't usually mention like the main thing one I think of is like gangs and gang violence and things like that that people would usually avoid but they're real situations that I think I could talk about and have my own twist on. Are you a panther or a plotter or a bit of both? This reminds me of NaNoWriMo. Oh my god. I'm a pantser. Which is why I've never successfully completed the National Novel Writing Month. Like, planning... Like, at school we get told you have a dedicated amount of time to plan and you have to use all that time. And I hate it. Because I have so many... I usually have loads of ideas at the start and writing them down either makes me realise that they're not good ideas or that I want to change my mind. Because writing things down is confirmation for me, and if I'm writing down something and I want to change my mind, I, I don't like it at all. Where are you at in your journey? Querying, agented, published? Nowhere. At the time I'm filming this video, I'm still writing the first draft of Beauty and Breakdown. By the time I upload this, I should have finished it, I'll be editing. But I'm going to try and self-publish first, and while I self-publish, not while I self-publish, while I self-publish I'll have a book, and everything about that will be my book, like the cover, it'll all be personal to me. So I want to get a copy of that book first before, like, getting queries and agents and getting on the route to getting published. Because then I feel like a publishing house will take control of the story and change things about the plot and the appearance of it and I like it to be personal to me. So, still writing, go to self-publish it first, get a copy, and then send out query letters and things like that. Seven, have you ever entered any writing contests? Final one. So there are two competitions that I've won where, these are very dusty. It's one where it's mainly advertised in a newspaper and you just submit your story and it's for young writers and it's for like the local area and I've won this how many times have I won this? 
2014, 2013. So I won this in my age group. Did I win? No, I was third in my age group for two consecutive years. Also, I've entered competitions on Mavellas.com, which is a website I talk about a lot. Because you can enter competitions and win prizes. For whatever position you come in, you can get prizes for doing artwork and covers and trailers and all kinds of things. Number eight, who are your writer heroes? Um, Cassandra Clare, I mentioned a lot, she has this complex world that expands across all kinds of times in history, all kinds of people. When I was younger, I looked at Jacqueline Wilson a lot. And even though that wouldn't, that's not an author I admire now, she's definitely one of my heroes when I was younger. She, I think, greatly inspired me to write. And I think I should say like John Green as well, just because he also has a twist on realistic situations, which I enjoy a lot. Number nine, have you been to a writing conference? Share your best or worst conference experience. I'd love to go to a conference, apart from a lot of them are either all in America or all in other places in the country because I'm from the southwest and everything is in like the big cities in like the north or like in London like there's nothing near me top three tips you'd give to newbie writers I have a poster I don't even see it it's behind here which has writing tips on and I use that a lot because I can see it from where I sit my bed and right I can see it there but some of my favorite tips are write about things you know even if it's not all about you know, take ins like take inspiration from the real world. Read a lot. Every everyone says that, and then everyone says how everyone says that. And third tip. I mentioned this. When did I mention this? I don't know. It was probably on a Mavella's blog. I think it was about my Instagram takeover. Yeah, it was. My favourite thing tip for writing is write the story that you want to read. Or the story that you want to write like even if there's people reading it like if i write if you like me you write online there'll be people commenting as you write the story but it's always best to write a story that you believe in rather than the one that everyone else wants to read and i think that's all so thank you for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it and i will see you next time bye